Hi there, good afternoon. Um, we're at Summerhill at the Association Apiary and we're going to do an oxalic acid treatment. So I've got the pre-mixed oxalic acid, which is a product called AP Bioxyl, mixed with one-to-one -one sugar solution. Follow the instructions on the packet. Now I want to get it from the storage bottle. Make sure your storage bottles are well marked as poison, um, because it's, uh, it is a poison if it was to get into humans. So I put it into a temporary container. I'm going to draw up in this big syringe, just over 50 mil, and I'm going to put it in one of these little trickle bottles that comes from Thorn. And then I'm going to put the lid on the trickle bottle. This trickle bottle, you load it through there, and it comes out through here. Practice with some water in it first, because you need to adjust this little nozzle here until you get the right sort of drip drip out of it so it doesn't flood out and so you're not squeezing it. When you've got the trickle bottle, you hold it with this tube and the bubble in the palm of your hand. As you squeeze it, the liquid goes up into the bubble and that's the five mil dose per frame you want. So I'm just gonna start on this colony behind me. So I've taken the lid off, taken the stuff off and I've loosened the crown board. So I'm just gonna lift, lift the crown board off and here's the colony. I use my thumb on the frame to mark which frame I'm treating. I don't need to do the very outer frames because I can see there's no bees on there. Once I've emptied the chamber, squeeze it to refill it, go along the seam of bees, 5ml of the liquid on each seam of bees. So I can see this colony is alive. It's over about six or seven frames, which is pretty good for this time of year. So I've no worries about this one at this stage. What I have noticed coming back, even though we only changed the feed a week or so ago, they're out of fondant, so I'm going to change the fondant on here as well today. So squeeze that whole bubble empty into the frame, and that's the five mil dose per seam. Two more to do, actually three more to do. If you had a double brood colony in two boxes going into winter, you may find the bees in both boxes, so you might have to treat the upper box and the lower box, so obviously you'd need more solution and you'd need to remove one brood box quickly to do the lower box. So that should have taken about a minute. I'm going to put the solution out of the way, lid back on quick as you can, really, to give us the least disruption. To be honest, they don't want to be disturbed at this time of year. Always easy with gloves on. Fondant empty. New fondant on. And I put this over just to control the ventilation that the bees can get back through that empty space. Lock any bees out. Let's reassemble the hive and then leave them alone for the winter. I've checked Varroa in these colonies recently and the reason we are treating is although this colony was under the treatment threshold, the other colony was over and with one colony in an apiary needing treatment, the one beside it is going to get mites transferring between one and the other. So it's best to treat what both, even if one's slightly below the threshold. And that's it, folks. Thank you.